Data acquisition is the recording of parameters that allow race engineers to analyze the behavior of an entire car or a specific system within the car. For the Porsche LMP1 team, it played a crucial role in their third straight victory in the world's greatest endurance race. Uh, data acquisition is the, let's say, the science of, of measuring the, the vehicle's performance, reliability, driving of the vehicle, and all these things are fundamental to making the car go quickly, the drivers go quickly, and ultimately winning race. Data collected includes off-car measurements like weather and track conditions, but it's the live on-car parameters that engineers use to maximum effect. We measure, let's say, a large variety of uh, parameters. We take the driver, for example, we're most interested in uh, his inputs to the car, which are fundamentally brake pressure, throttle pedal, steering angle, and, uh, and gear position. Chassis-wise, your rate sensor, accelerometers, suspension travel are very important, and on the engine, uh, RPM is uh, probably the most key parameter that we measure. Live telemetry is important and also an efficient data acquisition to make sure you react quick on a change of conditions, for example, and so on. And uh, in the end, for these highly complex race cars, there's such a big amount of channels uh, available and uh, you need a lot of manpower also to digest all these data and to interpret them in the right way. Dozens of engineers analyze this data to improve the performance of the car, but lap times at Le Mans ultimately come down to the drivers, and data acquisition is a crucial tool to improve their performance too. One important aspect of the data analysis is uh, monitoring, uh, let's say, the, the speed traces, the traces of the steering angle the drivers are using, uh, the lines that they are taking on, on track. It's a, it's a permanent compare to the, let's say, the ideal lap, or a permanent compare also between data of, of the different drivers. You can't manage what you don't measure. Uh, it's the same for the driver in the cockpit. If they don't have any data references, they, they can't understand or learn themselves uh, what they've done previously, which was good, which was bad. And hence, uh, data allows them to see more clearly how they're dealing with, uh, let's say, the vehicle behavior under a certain set of circumstances. An early technical problem in this year's race put the number two car to the back of the field. As its three drivers began the fight back, comparison data was more relevant than ever. The first people to look for is your teammates and um, you know you don't need to be amazing anywhere but just a good average between the three of you and then you're making good lap time and you can get good gains from this. And then obviously your second car, you know, your sister car, you can also look. So we actually have more data because we can pull from uh, six different drivers with the different driving techniques and stuff like that. So um, the analysis for us is huge and it definitely helps the team with the performance uh, the more we push each other. In the high-tech world of the WEC, data analysis can be the difference between success and failure. By monitoring tyre data closely, Porsche engineers were able to employ a perfect pit stop strategy and help bring the number two car to victory. They obviously used to this high level of technology and also to this high level of data acquisition. And uh, I mean, the drivers see the benefit. It's not really a question if it's uh, wanted or not. It's, uh, it's an absolute must in order to extract the maximum performance. Data is extremely important to Porsche LMP1 team. It's a foundation of what we do from a vehicle development point of view, team development point of view and driver development point of view. It allows us to compare where we are today and together with some of our simulation tools predict better where we're going tomorrow.